What is going on guys, Strange Coin Gaming here, coming at you with a tutorial on how to do the best setup for Shadows of Evil. So basically what we're going to go over is just tips and tricks on how to like have the best setup, so like get, getting free points, like I just did right there, knowing how to do all the beast modes and stuff like that. So, first off, let's start off with what I just did, where you get a free 100 points if you crouch under any perk machine. It's pretty sweet, just a cool easter egg I guess you could say that Treyarch put in. Second, what you want to do though is you want to find the Fumigator. In this case, it's right on that crate right here, so you want to pick that up. It's kind of this red syringe-looking thing, or a bicycle pump. And it can spawn in three locations. One right there, one on the crate where you just saw me pick it up, and one on a trash can, which isn't here for some reason, but one on the trash can. So next, what you want to do is you want to open the door that's over here, because there's no really use to stay in the starting area, and you need to use the beast mode to continue into the ritual sites. So you want to open that door, then you want to activate the beast mode, and you want to press the melee button, R3, just on the joystick, to melee that door open, shock that, which is L2, melee that, melee button again, then you want to run over here, L2, shock this thing, which that unlocks the crate, I'll show you what that is. Then you want to gravel up there, which is R2, run through this building, you are going to be a little short on time, but just, it, if you know what to do, it's simple enough, and then shock that using L2. Shocking that last thing, what I'll do is I'll un unlock that staircase. I'll go through each one of the things that we just did. So, it's pretty simple though, once you get the hang of it. So the first thing that I did, I unlocked this door area right here, which gets you basically a free perk that could be either max ammo, insta-kill, or double points. And it just is always in that room, it stays there forever until you pick it up. Which is kind of nice. Then I shock that, that allows you to pick up Quick Revive, which basically, like I showed you, you can go prone under it get a free 100 points which is pretty sweet then you want to melee this which I did and pick up the summoning key hold square on that um, that allows you to begin the rituals then after you do that you want to simply pick up the golden fountain pen that is your first key to be able to do the rituals these witch things will spawn but don't worry they're pretty easy to kill one knife on round one next what you want to do is begin the ritual which again isn't too hard if you've played Origins, it's basically like the generator zombies. You just basically have to run around, train, and just survive, I guess, for a short, short period of time. Very simple. Once you get the hang of it, it does get a little easier, but hold square, place it, and then hold square again, and start it up. So basically, the witch things that we killed earlier, they'll start spawning along with the zombies will start coming through the windows. Just basically run around, stay alive, and you should do just fine. You only have to do this for about 20, 15 to 20 seconds or so, and then it'll just end, just like it did right now. The way you tell if it ends, it'll flash white, and then do that little blood thing. Then you want to pick up the gateworm, and that is step one of four to be able to activate Pack-A-Punch. Um, basically, you just do the same exact thing in all the other zones. So, of course, first off, you have the waterfront area, which you can do the ritual by activating there and getting the ritual pieces. I will probably cover each zone in another video, so stay tuned for that. Um, next you have the Footlight District, I'll get to the perk bottles in a second. Then last of all, over here you have the Canal District, but I'll show you the gate too, over here. Canal District right here. Okay. Next what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you a quick tip on how to get a free 500 points, which is actually pretty sweet. Um, first off, what we're going to do, though, is what you want to do with each zombie is you want to shoot them once and melee them. Just gets you the free 10 points for shooting them and the bonus points for meleeing. Just quick, easy points. Do it until you get down to one or two zombies left, just so they don't get in your way for the rest. So, wait, like I was saying, is a quick tip to get 500 points. You want to cook grenade for four beats. So basically, that's what you do, there, so but so unfortunately, I wasn't able to so do it, one, but it should two, put this folder on the three, counter right there. Just four, pick that up by holding it. Throw it. So finally, I'm going to explain the perk bottles, and what they are is basically, there'll be a destroyed perk bottle outside each one of the doors, it'll change every single time. There's three perks that will ha spawn, first will be Jug, second will be Speed Cola, and third will be Double Tap. So first one, the first zone that you want to open, you don't really start with a specific area, but what I recommend is always start with the one that has Juggernog, just because it is probably the most useful perk in the game. It just allows you to have extra health and all that. So in this case, you'd start with the Canal District. Second, I'd recommend Speed Cola, which is marked by a green bottle. That one's marked by a red bottle, or Juggernog. 
Um, that encased is double tap, which I'll explain. Um, basically, double tap bottles are always yellow, and it's pretty sweet actually. Just kind of sits right there. And then, of course, over here we'd have Spring Speed Cola, which is green. Okay. Well, I guess that basically concludes this video. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave in the comment section down below if you'd like to see more of these tutorial videos. Or if you didn't like them at all, just let me know. And thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Peace.